Welcome back everyone to Spoopy October 2015. This time I'll be playing the Flutter Island game. I've never, I haven't even heard of these games before in, in, in any matter at all. I just somehow found out about them. So all I did was download them through uh, pretty shoddy links. And well, well, here I am with this video now. Anyway, let's start. Created with Game Maker. Game Maker Lite. <laughs> um, okay. So, there was a lot more uh, technical, uh, like the person who made the Dreamy Rainbow games, which was based on the Dune games, clearly knew a lot more about uh, presentation than the person who decided to make a Luna game, quote unquote, with Fluttershy. Uh, at least there's music, I guess. And that's it. We just jump down a pit. And, oh, Fluttershy flies out of it. And I could still move, but uh, then, uh, well, uh, whatever. It's made with Game Maker Lite, and it was probably not tested very much. I don't know what the plot of this is, and I don't know why the background is sort of kind of purple. Anyway, it's actually not auto-scrolling. Uh, the, the background is moving, and the clouds are moving, but I don't think, uh, like, Fluttershy is moving. Yeah, you see? So I have to move uh, forward uh, myself. And why... Every time, it's always the sonic rain sound effect, even though these are coins. What is with these horror games and Sonic? Or the, the infatuation the game makers have with Sonic? I guess they grew up uh, with the character. Yeah, I heard you were in this, Apple Bloom. Uh, at least it's something other than Pink and Min, I suppose. Yes, I'm finally here. I was actually supposed to do this video last week, but, uh... Oh, you're trapped? You need help? Ah, oh, no, she's just lonely. Some people, they're trapped, but, uh, they're not, uh... Sad or anything about it. I'd rather not, to be honest, Apple Bloom. Oh, uh, really? Considering how glitchy this game is... I could probably easily get stuck on one of the platforms or something like that, so I better be careful. Because cause I might not be able to play this again. Much like uh, pretty much every one of these spoopy games. Like, the one block right up there, I bet I could get stuck in it. I'm not too careful. And jumping is difficult. Sometimes it doesn't work. Because the game doesn't recognize you as uh, on the floor, quote unquote. This music is really, really loud. I, it's good. It's just it's really, really loud. I can't remember what it's from. Is it from uh, the game with... Uh, uh, I can't remember what the name of it is. But I, I seem to remember it being from a popular game with a character that... Ah, the, the name escapes me. Dang it. Whatever. Just to jump down the pit. Yeah, sometimes uh, your walking animation won't work. Until you start walking again. Hi, Apple Bloom. Don't know why she was walking there. Was I supposed to touch her? Maybe. Maybe? Uh, uh maybe. I guess not. Oh, that's right! I can run! I completely forgot about pressing shift to run. <laughs> well, can I play this again now? Maybe we can find an alternate ending. Yes, I can. Okay, I'll, I'll see if I can escape uh, Apple Bloom. Okay, I guess I'll see what will happen if you run into Apple Bloom right here. Nothing. She, you, you run into her and uh, she disappears. Yeah, yeah, come on, Apple Bloom. I bet she moves just barely faster than I do. That is a very stockish sound effect. And you're just stuck. That's pretty much it. Or, no, it actually continues. Okay, so me getting caught by uh, Apple Bloom was the non canon thing, and I can't move right there.
Because I can. I actually didn't run the first time, Apple Bloom. It is? You're, you're just getting upset over someone running away from you? Huh, what's that thing? Can I fly? No, I cannot. I can get stuck in the wall, though. Maybe getting stuck in the wall will, uh, uh, break something. Yep, just gonna get stick, get stuck right here. But that's okay. A change of heart. I'd rather not have a bloom. Actually, maybe I can. Considering how poorly made this game is. Wow, really? <laughs> oh my goodness, okay. Um, if you're going to make a horror game and try to scare someone with pictures, you need to be a good artist to make it work. You, you need that. Like, that was not originally her eye. It was all black initially. Anyway, that was Flutter Island 1. Uh, about the quality I expected out of it. Let's try Flutter Island 2. And actually, maybe I should play Apples there where it's not like I'm going to have uh, pretty long... Any, it's not like the video will be long enough to be substantial for Spoopy October 2015 if I only played Flutter Island 1 and 2. You're not fooling anyone, buddy. Yay. Is it still made by Game Maker Light? Yes, it is. Grand Galloping Gala? Yeah, I figured. These are the lyrics. That flourish I had, I believe. I really don't get why these game makers always seem to want to pretend that the game is not just an elaborate attempt to scare someone. Especially when it's a sequel, you know? Also, that is a very cheaply made signpost. And I cannot run in this one, but that makes sense because flourish I has her uh, clothes on. Boom. Who? The gala's over there, Flourish Eye. You should probably go here. Actually, the point of view here is kind of uh, broken. You'd think that they would have uh, moved the image up a bit more to make it look a bit better. Can I still get stuck on the walls? No, I can't. I, I think I had to be able to run to make that happen. Actually, I was yeah, I, I can get stuck on the walls. Never mind. Can't go back. Come on. I know someone... No? I was sure something was going to zoom past at me. And that's supposed to be a young Celeste, I believe. Why is everything petrified anyway? And why do you look creepy, Rainbow Dash? Everyone's leaving the place. That's perhaps the most bizarre part. What happens if I run into you? Nothing? Nothing. Why is it that it's always the eyes? Just black out the eyes and that, 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 that makes things scary. And I can't leave at all. I suppose it's a nice uh, detail that the... Uh, all of these uh, sprites were changed. Even though they're statues. Well, Thrushai, we're at the gala now. It's too bad the place is haunted. Huh. I noticed the expression on Thrushai right there. It's a good thing you can fly. Come on, Thrushai. You can fly. Just fly out of this place. Maybe I should voice this. I don't expect this much uh, text in uh, these types of games, but uh, Jimmy Rainbow and uh, Florida Island quite a, quite have quite a bit. Oh, really? Can I run now? 
No, I still can't. So I have to f find Apple Bloom. Or rather, I have to go to specific spots on this level that will trigger invisible platforms to appear, which is what would allow me to proceed further into it until I reach the point of the the point of the end. Yeah. Amazing. You know what would improve uh, my opinion of you tremendously, Flutter Island Games? If you could allow Fluttershy to fly. That's the one thing I want to see in one of these horror games. If you have a character that clearly can fly, I'd like them to all of a sudden be able to just fly at some point, easily cheesing whatever horrors they have to deal with. Hmm. Can't, can't go back. Can never go back. Ever. Twilight. Pinky. These are... These are such old stock images of the characters, jeez. And it's, it, they were so off model too. Don't know why the person decided to use those. Well, I guess that rarity image is not a stock image, but that Applejack image sure is. Yeah. So rarity, you are spared the off modelness of your stock image. Your, your original stock image anyway. She has quite a few. Cannot even tr attempt to go back down that hole. Jeez. I'm very bored. That's the, what's the matter. What do you mean, giving up? I can't even go back. Like, if I could go back, that would make sense to tell me if I'm... To ask me if I'm giving up. Oh, my portrait, huh? Well, if it's a stock image... Oh, come on. It better not be a stock image. Thorshai is being a bit more assertive. But it's kind of off... Really? She's being kind of off model. And let me guess, th those are the portraits up there. You, you can sort of kind of see them. Yeah, yeah. What happens if I go back? Nothing. You know, points for not using Pink Amina, but Ap a Creepy Apple Bloom just does the exact same thing, so it would not change much if uh, the rolls were switched back out. The problem right now, with the main, 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 main issue, is the watermark on the top left. It ruins whatever immersion the game creator is attempting to leave us with. To insert us, uh, us into. And those are Apple Bloom's eyes, I think. I can't actually remember if it's yellow, the color of her um, iris. I think, I think that's what the part of the eye is called. I confused the, the I confused the color of the eyes for the pupils for quite a long time. Yeah, yeah, I see you there. More bloody water. Am I gonna have to like run away from it? Or no, actually, this is what I was supposed to do. Sort of kind of playing Metroid here. Reminds me of that part in Crates. Uh, Lair. What's this? It's gibberish. Wait, that's it? Huh? So, so was that a secret ending? Well, it's not very difficult to find, because I know how linear everything was, but 
Well, now I have to play the game again, considering I need to see what happens normally. If you go right at that per specific segment. Okay, so finally back here. You go left here, you get that secret down there, which I don't know does what. Over here, though. Point of no return. Uh, glitchy stairs. And... Presumably just something coming up. Screen's going black and... Did I go in the wrong way? Yes, I did. Let's go in the middle path. And now I can't control myself at all. Quick time event? Guess not. That's not a stock image of Flourishai. I mean, the cheap one from the very beginning of when the show just started. And that is a pretty cruddy transition right there. Oh, it actually affected my sprite too. You guys realize that I have uh, my uh, volume set to really, really low because uh, one of the cheapest ways these games attempt to scare us is by playing sounds very, very loudly all of, out of nowhere. Creepy Bloom. Oh, really? Tomato in the mirror? Come on. Darkness. Well, I've seen that kind of fanfic uh, a long time ago. You know, the game's probably about to, to be uh, finished uh, any moment now, so all of this is uh, kind of pointless. It would make a lot more sense in an actual RPG or something. But then again, lots of the, these creepy pasta games, they tend to pretend that uh, they don't, they never end, even after the game, the game closes and everything. Like, like here. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you you could say right here, right now. That, <laughs> yeah, actually this this right here is an easy way to tell that the game is truly over. Because it, it tells you about all the stuff you could do if you actually had the full version of the game. Game maker, that is. Anyway, all of this was kind of pointless. I think one of my biggest disappointments is that it never, it, it didn't really need to use Flourishai at all. It, it could have been done with any of the main six, but th the same could be said about Dreamy Rainbow and even the Luna games, I suppose. Anyway, to finish this off, I'm going to be playing Apples Everywhere. Considerably smaller in file size compared to Flutter Island 2. Like, Flutter Island 2 is 170 megabytes. This one is only 41. So what's the purpose of this? Is it a prequel to Flutter Island? What would it, what would it explain, anyway? Oh, hey, Apple Jack. Oh, hey, sis. Would you be willing to do me a favor? I've gathered most of them apples from the or or orchard back there, but there's a few left. Would you be kind enough to bring them to me? You don't need to buck any trees or nothing, just bring them apples to me. Sure. Do I have to go up here? This pony? Yes, I do. 
29 apples, huh? Will I actually be able to collect them all? Or will the spoopiness begin just as I'm about to finish? We're about to see. You know what? I'm going to ignore those two. In favor again, ignore these two. And keep moving left. Yeah, I didn't collect all the apples. What is this place? It's Lavender Town! It's actually a pretty cool area. Huh, what is that? I, can't, I, I want to be able to say what uh, kind of sprite that is, but I, I can't quite recognize it. Anyway, now I'm going to have to play this game twice because uh, I need to find out what if there's any difference if you collect all the apples. So this game really has no relation to Flutter Island. That's a bit disappointing! Oh, wait. This is familiar. An invitation for a birthday party. Huh. Not mine. Mine's been a few months ago. Seriously? I guess this is made by the main per the main the, the same person that did Flutter Island, but hardly any relation to Flutter uh, to to the to the two previous games I played in this video, besides that one page being there. Although in Flutter Island 2's case, I have no idea what the, the page said at all. Anyway, playing this game again, and this time I'm actually gonna collect all the apples, see what difference it makes. Yep, I'm just gonna ignore you right now, Applejack. And know what I know what favor I need to do to you. Can ignore these two apples again, but this time, I'm going like this. See, got all the apples. Oh, may actually maybe uh, the the path uh, that I took was actually completely different. I've got all the apples, Applejack. Don't you want to me to give them to you, or was I supposed to listen to her? Come on, I've got all the apples, Applejack. Uh, did I bro did I break something? Was I actually supposed to just listen to Applejack first? Th that might have been it, to be honest, because uh, like she might have been uh, out of bounds and like uh, not loaded anymore, and that might have broke a sequence. Or wait, no. Yuck! It's rotten. Since ain't ain't gonna want this one. Lost all the apples. I was I was supposed to collect that one apple. That's what I was supposed to do apparently. Ah, uh, thanks, sis. I knew I could count on you. You can go home if you want. I'll be there soon. home, huh? Can I go down here? Yes, I can. In fact, this is where I'm supposed to go to begin with. I was wondering about that. Like, I was thinking there's no way this was not done on purpose. I'm trying to... Still trying to ch test something out here, though. I'm trying to jump. Yeah, I can still go over here, though. With a well-placed jump. Doesn't lead anywhere to anywhere new, though. Oh, this this is the relation to Flutter Island 2, or just the Flutter Island series. Right up in the hill if you want to talk to her. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Really? Oh, so it is! Oh! 
always get the alternate ending before the actual ending. Sheesh. Well, you're kind of uh, either in a coma, flesh eye, or dead. And so it began. So it was a prequel. This was a prequel to Flutter Island. Huh. Well, glad that's over with now. That These are all the game files that were given to me concerning Flutter Island. I don't know if there's a Flutter Island 3 or something like that. But if any of you have subscribed to me long before I started getting really popular by my Splatoon stuff, you probably all have a good idea of what I'm about to play next. Like, a long time ago, I played a series. Uh sort of kind of infamous series called Master Max and Great Legion Adventure Adventures in Equestria. I stopped playing with the... I said that I would never play that series ever again, but but it was actually requested to me uh, a short while ago. Well, maybe not requested, but it was told to me that the creator of that series made another entry, and it was based on these games. I sort of wanted to play the originals before I played the variants. You know, just to, to make a point about how little creativity the person who makes the Master Max and Great Legion series has. You know? So the RPG variants of Flutter Island are what I'm going to be playing next. I don't know if uh, he's done with that new entry into his series, but uh, it's what I'll be playing next. So until then, I hope you all enjoyed this video and all have a very nice day. Bye-bye.